for a long time, I regarded Boston with such a negative feeling because of everything that I had been through. With stashing away those feelings, you sometimes can stash the good feelings. My dad would take me to the Prudential Center, and you know how they have those um, sprinklers? Kids play there all day in the summer, and the ice cream truck passes by, you know, you have beautiful churches, and then you have the Boston Public Library there, so much history. Those were moments that I could escape from, you know, all that fear and anxiety about being undocumented and having the possibility of my parents being arrested and everything. If you want more pizza, vote for Maritza. BAA for me represents a home, represented that really quickly for me because at the beginning of my freshman year, I was coming home from school. I lived in the Eggleston area and I walk in the door and my parents were gone. My family was gone. I knew why, right? So my, my parents were undocumented immigrants and they had been detained to be then deported back to Colombia. Keep going, keep going. It's that house right there. I felt like we gave up really easily. And so I waited a long time before facing this head on. So this is the spot I used to live here. It's kind of where it happened. That was a portion of my journey and my story, but this is what I grew up in. This was like, you know, my formative memories. This is where my family was really whole. Forest Hills, Washington Street, Rosy Square. Right here, this is where I used to play. This is where I grew up. The good old days. I look at my family and it's just like, I'm in, you know, this, tower and they're fighting dragons and fighting evil princes and things like that to get to me. They missed everything. I've basically had very little direction. And you know, you count on your parents to be that rock for you or that guidance for you. And I know not everyone has that, but we should strive for keeping the family together and keeping the family alive. It doesn't just affect the people who are deported, it, it affects the people who are here without them. And go. I know that this system is broken. I know that the immigration system is outdated. I know that there are a lot of problems in this country because of it. So I wanted to say something. Finally, when I decided to be active and do something really scary, which is speaking out, out about a subject that is really, really difficult and now my parents are closer and now all these wonderful things are occurring and it's really hard every day, but I feel better for it. And I don't just feel like an actress, I feel like, like something more. <laughs>